In this week's episode of Working with Todoist, it's all about integration and real-time synchronization. Hello and welcome to this episode, episode 110 of my Working With Todoist series. And in this week's episode, I'm going to show you a new feature, or it might not be a new feature. It could have been, I just missed this feature. But what it means, what this feature is, is using your Google Calendar and Todoist together, so integrating together, and actually synchronizing in real time. Now this is a fantastic feature for those of you guys who are really heavy users of your Google Calendar, particularly on the go, or if you're at work and you're, you're one of those companies who are using Google as your email, uh, email domain user, server, and so on. But before I move on with this, I really should thank Jim Samuel for pointing me in this direction. Jim very kindly left a comment on the comment section on one of the videos this week, and he reminded me of this feature. I was aware of it, but I hadn't looked into it, so thank you very much, Jim, for that. Thank you for giving me the heads up on this particular feature. So, for all of you guys out there who are using Google Calendar, and even for all of you guys out there who are considering which is the best calendar to use between Todoist, is it iCloud Calendar or Google Calendar, well maybe this will be a tipping point for you to tip you in one direction or the other. Really, really neat trick, but as I say, particularly for those of you guys out there who are really heavy users of your calendar. So, without further delay, oh, before we move into this, I just want to inform you guys that I know each week I'm now producing three to four videos a week, and it can be quite a lot to keep up to date and to keep checking this site for the latest uh, videos. So, if you guys follow all the videos that I do every week, I just want to point you in the direction of a newsletter that as of this week, I will be publishing every Friday whereby you can get all four videos or three or four videos that I publish each week in one convenient email. Also included in there will be my weekly blog post on Medium so you can read my latest tips and tricks on being more productive. So head down into the comment section, into the notes section below on this video. You'll find a link where you can subscribe to this newsletter. I'm sure for those of you guys, if you really want to collect all the videos together in one place and then watch them, say, over the weekend, then this is going to come out every Friday, well, every Friday afternoon, career time, so whatever time that might be in your country, I guess Friday morning in most of you. So just a heads up on that. So subscribe to the newsletter. The link is in the comment section below so you can subscribe and I will be sending out the three to four videos that I do every week plus the new the blog post that I write every week. Okay, let's get into this. So how to get your Todoist and Google Calendar synchronizing in real time together. Okay, so here is the support document that will show you how to set this up. So if you prefer to see this in writing, I'll put a link to this in the notes below. Um, and there is a heads up on this, and I should just show you that. If you've hacked together your own Google Calendar integration with If This Then That or Zapier, this two async will likely end up duplicating some of your tasks. To avoid this from happening, turn off all your previous integrations first. A very, very good tip. You don't want duplications coming into your uh, calendar from Todoist. So basically what we're going to do is, um, the other thing I should point out is, so now completing a task in Todoist is not going to remove the event from Google Calendar just yet, but they are going to work on putting this feature in very soon. So uh, deleting a task though will remove it. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, follow this way of putting it, uh, integrating, excuse me, your Google Calendar. Now, I need to point out that 
you will need to be on the web version of Todoist. So I'm going to click on this tab here. This is my web version in my demo account uh, because I already have, I use iCal generally. Um, but this is my Google Calendar, which I have set up as a planning tool for my regular working system. But um, so I have a number of tasks in here that uh, I will be looking at. But here is my Todoist. And so the first thing we need to do is to go into settings, which is up in the gear icon up at the top here. And remember, this needs to be on the web version of Todoist. Go into settings and that's going to take you to a different page. And you need to go down to integrations, which is here. Click on the integrations tab and you'll see in the middle down here, Google Calendar. Enjoy two-way sync between your scheduled Todoist tasks and your Google Calendar. All you have to do is click connect. And that's going to give you a connection to your Google Calendar. And you're going to have to sign in. So I'm going to sign in. I have to try and remember which uh, account I am in. So I'm going to, oh, it's my Google Calendar. So I'm connecting to that. Manage my allow. So I'm going to allow this and it's going to do. Now it's going to give me the option of which calendar I want to, to create. So I can look at this and I've got primary YDL posts. I've got various calendars. I'm going to call this my primary. I'm going to put it into my primary. Sync all projects. Now you can actually choose a specific project. You click on that and now it'll give you the option to collect. Uh, as you know, I like to use my... Um, <clears throat> I don't actually have in here. Strangely enough, I don't really have my uh, tickler file set up in my demo account, but let's just click on my work calendar. Set event duration 60 minutes. I'm going to change that to 30 because tasks would not. And tasks should be synced as all day events, which is they're probably going to be. So I'm going to connect. So that connects my calendar now to my Todoist account. It looks like my internet is a little bit slow today. So we will let that process. Okay, so now we have a processed, um, it's all in here. I can edit this if I wish, and I can click sync. So I'm gonna sync this now. Um, so I'm gonna sync, so it's take about a minute, uh, but that's gonna sync and it's syncing and it's done. So now I can close out my uh, thing and what we'll look at is what do we have in here? Now I probably don't actually have much in here. Um, but if I look at my work calendar, so I've got a few projects in here. So what we've got? Yeah, so we've got some set up and that's really all you have to do. So hopefully that has shown you how you can get real time. As you notice here, it's come up with the label GCAL, 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 GCAL. Um, my labels are now added. So I've got eight tasks in my GCAL and that's all come in here. And that is doing very nicely, as you can see. Uh, it's actually put in all the tasks that I have in my calendar set up. So that's really, really cool. Well, hopefully that's been a useful exercise for you. If you have any questions at all about uh, how it's set up, how to set this up, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter where I can send you all my videos together in one place in your inbox every Friday. Thanks ever so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode.